So on the MMRPG subreddit about a day, two days ago, this was posted, Nightmare, an all-new retro-styled MMRPG experience, free on Steam, September 6th. And you can actually play now. You can download and play, but they're talking about it coming out on Steam. So I figured I'd give it a quick look. I'd give it a quick play. I've played for about two hours, and honestly, the game's fairly cool and actually surprisingly populated even before the Steam release. So it's completely free to play. You just log in, uh, make an account on their website, and I figured we'd go over the trailer together, show you some stuff that I obviously haven't seen yet because I'm not super far into the game. And just talk about, you know, what's in the cash shop, things like that for people who, who are interested in checking it out. So we might as well skip through a portion of the trailer because it's just uh, the like story trailer or whatever. The character creation and everything's like super lacking, obviously. Apparently they've been working on this for six years, uh, if I read correctly. And honestly, the game's pretty charming, uh, if if not really slow to play. Like, the movement and everything, at least at low level, is pretty damn slow. But if you're into, like, old-school retro MMOs, something to just, you know, throw some hours away and just have a good time, it's fairly good, to be honest. I'm probably going to be playing it a little bit. The combat takes a, a little while to get used to, I think. But it looks like it has most of the things you'd want in an MMO. Uh, obviously, most people are not going to be interested because it is extremely niche being a, a very old school looking experience but that can be fun uh, especially if you're in a lull and there's nothing else you're really interested in playing right now something that doesn't take itself too seriously so as you can see there is also dueling so pvp is going to be in the game uh seems like mostly skill-based combat for me the the combat that i've been doing battle raid bosses for powerful items nice I've killed a boss. I killed a level 5 giant slime, which did take about 5 minutes to kill and use all my potions, but I was like level 3 to be fair. Oh, so this fishing. A big fan of fishing. Love a good bit of fishing. Nice bit of mining. Like everything in this game, like look how slow it is to mine these nodes. Everything in this game is slow. Like real slow. But it's one of those where you read the quest texts to find out where to go and things like that. Uh, seems like they have a fairly in-depth crafting system in there as well. Four clans battle for dominion over Sylvanus. Vampire. Okay. Werewolf. I haven't gotten to this part yet. So is this like open world PvP? Salamander. Furries. Cyclops. Nice. Buy a house and decorate. Oh, this is cool. Yeah, this is pretty cool. I thought that said Canadians. Canadians help you fight in battle. I was going to be like, the fuck are Canadians doing in this game helping us fight in battle? Guardians. Same thing, same difference, you know. Pass the time with mini games. I've not seen these either. I did have a, a gamble with the warden in a in a dungeon. The fate of Sylvanus depends on you. Nightmare. Well, having a look at that, so there's some features in the game that obviously I've not seen yet. I'm level four, a nice little level four. Obviously not played very much. Like I say, there's people constantly everywhere. You see people running around. Look how slow my character is. I don't know if this is something I'm doing wrong, but this is the speed at which I move around the game world, uh, which is not ideal, but Obviously, you can go through and there's a bunch of quests. And I just wanted to talk about the cash shop because that's something that obviously is going to uh, make or break a game, especially with one that's like not super uh, mainstream and, and that people are super interested in. You can buy revive potions, experience potions, luck potions, and things like that. Uh, VIP deed, which gives you 30 days of VIP. I couldn't find out what the VIP does without buying it, so... I obviously haven't done that. Magic Stealth Helm, uh, these are, as far as I'm aware, just cosmetics. So it looks like, you know, Vampire Bat Wings, Werewolf Fangs, Cyclops Bones, and Salamander Eggs. They're the, they're the factions we just saw. And this is Cash Shop. So I'm not sure if to join one of the factions, you have to buy uh, Cash Shop items. Uh, specifically, if we go on the website, we can see how much these cost. So what were they? 5,000 for one of these? So, okay, it's $5 for 5,000 major work tokens, which is what it's going to cost to buy these things. Someone from the development team will probably see this and want to clarify in the comments. Uh, do you need these to do like the faction warfare? And then you can buy keys, which are used for opening chests. 
which are a couple dollars each and i found chests in the world uh and they said that they were locked and i don't know if you have to buy cash shop keys to open the chests in the world or if there's another way to get these uh but obviously this is going to be a point of concern for some people the actual cosmetics you can buy don't appear to have stats so at least that's one thing but obviously if you are going to be looking to play this game um you should be aware that obviously it has some kind of vip system as x potions level reset stat resets look potions and stuff like that so yeah that might be an issue but just in general if you go through the steam page it looks like an actually fairly decent game it seems like they've put some work into this and gameplay wise travel through the world of sylvanus defeating enemies and leveling your character there is a main story quest and numerous side quests your character may engage in however nightmare is an open world game and you may do these quests at your own leisure trade skills allow your character to both harvest better resources and craft more powerful items you can go mining fishing become a blacksmith and even cut gems to be used in crafting there are 14 trade skills in total once you join a clan you have the ability to transform at night and engage in world pvp there are pvp events that reward players for their performance you can buy a house and decorate to your liking other players in the world may visit your houses as well the world of sylvanus is an evolving world we already have planned expansion content including whole continents which will add to the lore and overall experience of the game so overall fully features 2d mmo with large world to explore character customization with hundreds of style combinations rich main story with interwoven quests eight classes so from what I saw, from what I remember, there was like a spell blade, um, uh, arcanist, priest sort of thing, paladin, berserker, uh, assassin, and, and a couple others. I can't remember off the top of my head. There was there was eight total. You get to choose very early on in the game. Discover which clan you belong to at level 30. So I assume it's random to your character or you get to pick. Maybe, I don't know, transform at night into your clan's race to engage in PvP. Quest based on day and night sequence, dungeon puzzles, and magic chests containing rare items. So one thing that the game already did really well when I started was it was telling me to go into a, a dungeon and fight the, the boss, basically, the slime boss. And it wasn't just like go into the dungeon, walk through the dungeon, go to the end. You had to like go through one area, reappear at the other side of the town, go into another dungeon, flick a switch, go back to the other dungeon, um, find where you had to go, find some switches within that dungeon and things like that. So it's a whole process and if the whole game works like that it's actually fairly fun it's actually fairly cool and interesting and unique as opposed to you know just the the bog standard go here do this thing so that should be something that interests people if they are into this old school retro style uh, special items gain access to previously inaccessible locations entry to raid battles for a chance of powerful and rare items create a guild and ally with friends collect pets and mercenaries from shops and dungeons the battle alongside your character so in general, a pretty cool looking game, pretty interesting little experience. Definitely not going to be for everybody, but most things aren't. So who really gives a fuck? It looks like a cool little game, something that maybe you guys want to check out uh, if you don't have anything else going on. So check out Nightmare on Steam, September 6th, or just go to their website and download it. I'll leave a link in the video description. So yeah, let me know how you guys find it and I'll see you on the next one. Stay safe out there. We out. Peace. Mm -hmm.